Welcome to Faith is the Victory podcast, a ministry outreach of Faith Christian Center in Cairo, Georgia. This is Pastor David Coleman, Sr. Today's devotional is titled, In the Secret of Thy Presence. Psalms 31, 19 through 20. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence. There is a secret place that is found only in God, and it is a hiding place for those who trust him and walk in the fear and reverence of God. There is a tremendous blessing waiting for those who honor and revere God, for those who stand in deep humility and great respect for who and what he is and for the access he gives us into his very presence. The passage above from Psalms 31 begins, O oh, how great is thy goodness which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee. This scripture is telling us that God's goodness is his treasure, that he hides away and stores up for those who fear, reverence, and respect him to the extent where a right relationship with him is their greatest priority. This is exactly where God is calling us, where he desires us to stand in our faith. It is here that God can do what he yearns most, and that is to pour out his great goodness into our lives. When we come to this place of reverence and honor of God in our daily walk, we find that all other interests of life turn to a proper priority and alignment. Relationships with people that God has placed in our lives and blessed us with will flourish. Spouses committed to this fear of the Lord will renew in love for one another. Family life with parents and children will be enriched and thrive. All of God's goodness he desires to pour out will be great in quantity and quality in our lives as we put all our trust in him as we walk before him reverently in the fear of the Lord. As we turn to the 91st Psalm, we gain further revelation beginning in verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. From this passage, we learn that there is a place of dwelling for the believer and it is called the secret place of the Most High. It is a place of closeness and intimacy that he reserves for his children. Coupled with our understanding of Psalm 31, we realize that the secret place of God is his presence. God makes this known to us for a purpose that will ignite our faith. As believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, God has made our home in him and his home in us. And as we study the scriptures, we learn that God's great desire for his children is that we dwell in his presence. He wants us to be near him, close to him in every aspect of our life. The term dwell in Psalm 91 means to take up residence. And a residence is where one makes their habitation, their abode, their house with all the comforts of home. So profound is this truth that God is our dwelling place. And as we tie this back to Psalm 31, we see that the secret place of God where we dwell is his presence. Our residency is his presence. And we also live and abide in him, our haven, our refuge, and our home, the home of the believer, covered and protected by his shadow. Psalms 91, 2 continues and says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. God is our dwelling place, our shelter of hope, and our castle of defense. There we are protected and safe in the secret place 
of his presence. As people of faith, our longing and yearning is to be near the Lord. Listen to Psalm 84, 1 and 2. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. It is our innermost cry of the heart to be in God's dwelling place, the secret place and shadow of his presence. We desire this, and so does God. The question now becomes, how does this happen? How do we do this? How do we enter into his presence? God made it very simple for us, and he wants us to know it and practice it. Psalms 100, verse 1 through 5 in the English Standard Version says this, Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. There it is. There it is. We enter into his presence and abide there with thanksgiving and praise. Having a thankful heart keeps us near God. So when we are thankful to God, we maintain continuous awareness of him and our closeness to him. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. And added to this thanksgiving and thankfulness that we give unto God, we add praise. Psalms 106.1, praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Understand this fully. God inhabits the praise of his people, Psalms 22, 3. So let us continually offer to God thanksgiving and praise, and we'll realize quickly that God's presence is truly our dwelling place, our home, our abode, our habitation. Praise God. It's the secret place of refuge and protection that he has established for all his children. His presence is our haven and abode of faith where no evil can harm us or move us. And in his presence, we experience a fullness of joy that resides nowhere else. And it's a joy that gives us strength to run this race that is set before us. Friends, I'm going to say amen to this encouraging word today, and I'm going to ask you to say amen with me. So if you can, say it out loud. Amen? Amen. Friends, remember, there is no other name under heaven given among men but that great name of Jesus whereby we must be saved, Acts 4.12. For he said, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me, John 14, 6. So let me encourage you to bow your knee to Jesus today and call upon the great name of Jesus, turning completely to him. Believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess Jesus as your Lord, as we read in Romans 10, 9, and 10. If you did this today, you are now a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away and all things have become brand new. Brand new in you, 1 Corinthians 5, 17. Friends, before I leave you today, I would like to encourage you and invite you to visit our Faith Christian Center Church website at fccairo.com at f-c-c-c-a-i-r-o. Com. There you will find information about our church and our service times, along with links to our church YouTube channel. I would also ask you to share this podcast with your family and friends, and whoever the Lord may lay on your heart, as I believe it will bless them, just as it has blessed you. Well, thank you again for listening today to our Faith is the Victory podcast. Join us again next time as we continue to discover that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. This is Pastor David Coleman Sr. of Faith Christian Center in Cairo, Georgia.